Okay, well, let's start the meeting with the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Jacob, would you uh, call the roll, please? Butler? Here. Jordan? Here. Cooperage? Here. Smith? Here. Thomas? Here. Thrash? Here. Vincenzo? Here. All members are present. Thank you. Okay, the first item on the agenda is the minutes. Has anyone not received their minutes from the previous meeting on April 4th? Does anyone have any questions or problems with those meeting minutes? Okay, hearing none, I will accept a uh, uh, motion to accept those minutes. Second. Tom, second. We have a motion and a second. Jake, would you call the vote, uh, please? Butler? Yes. Jordan? Yes. Oakridge? Yes. Smith? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Thrash? Yes. Vincenzo? Yes. All members are in favor. Okay, 7 and 0, the meeting minutes are approved. Okay, we have nothing on the uh, new business or citizens hearing. I am unaware of any correspondence. Uh, so we'll move on to uh, the reports. The mayor is out of town this week, so we will move directly to the uh, service director's report, Mr. Greenwood. Evening, council. Um, <coughs> dive into it as usual. Uh, council items that I've got. Um, as some of you know, um, the gas aggregation program that we had entered into several years ago with Volunteer Energy. Um, Volunteer Energy is filed for bankruptcy. Um, we are meeting with several companies that are wanting to restart the program with us. Uh, so we're looking at potential uh, what's going to be the best options for the city and, and we'll have recommendations in either the next meeting or the meeting after uh, with going through there. Uh, we were supposed to be flushing hydrants starting today, but that got delayed by uh, some other important work that we had to do. Um, still anticipate working on that this week. And then uh, just so everyone knows, Earth Day is Friday too. So uh, I've had 11 meetings in the last two weeks, uh, different various projects, uh, completed projects. Uh, today we did the test run for the East End water connection for our SCADA system. Um, that is one step closer to being completely done with that project, uh, but as we uh, uh, were told before, we've got the four-month extension uh, from the EPA, so we won't be switching over completely until at least September. Uh, the servers, uh, the new servers for the city building have been uh, delivered. Uh, we're working on trying to get them set up uh, and uh, do a switch over with those. Um, the rec center floor is pretty much almost done. They are striping it uh, this week. So if anyone wants to see any of these pictures, there's some stuff in there. Floor looks really nice. Uh, we submitted a, that loan for the uh, OWDA for the I-70 water line and they had, they had some additional questions. Uh, so we sent in some more information for them and we think we've got that all settled too. Um, also working on health insurance quotes, uh, we've had uh, several companies that gave us quotes and then our current agent gave us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different options with companies so we have uh, some options there where we'll be going. Looks like uh, between Either a renewal for exactly what we have or a slight change uh, will be anywhere. The renewal for what we have is going to be 7.91% increase. And for a slight change in, in deductibles, um, we will have a 0.06% increase. So that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good options that we've had with that. Thank Annette for uh, shopping with those and, and getting that information. Uh, upcoming projects, uh, sewer lift station work, um, that was the, the work that uh, causing issues today that we couldn't start on the, fly, the, the uh, hydrant flushing. We've got another lift station that's starting to uh, show its age and go through it. 
So we're going to see what, what we need to do and we'll go from there. Uh, still looking at uh, working with the HR on setting up the uh, administrative policies and procedures and then uh, some additional trainings on things. I had a, a good hour long conversation with them on some, some issues today. So um, they're, uh, I think the switch is going to be very good. Um, they're very responsive if we have questions or have issues. So uh, we're working on that. Still working on the details for smoking the sanitary sewer system. Uh, and then have not heard anything else on the potential uh, property purchases. Uh, when I do, I'll let you know. Um, looking at building projects, uh, restrooms, uh, the train station renovation, junior fair building. Um, also looking on you know, doing some work in the police department. Uh, departments, electric department, they were kind of doing some general maintenance in that. Um, also want to announce that the, the electric department did receive a safety uh, award for excellence. Uh, group A for systems with less than 15,000 work hours of exposure. Um, Donnie, did you want to say anything on that? Uh, really proud of that. That's our 30th in a row. Uh, the gentlemen worked very hard, but thank you for the safety meetings and uh, the materials that we need to keep our people safe and, and good people. Thank you. Excellent. Um, uh, water, wastewater, uh, still working on the I-70 projects, fixing valves, uh, the rakes. Still only eight water line breaks so far, which is uh, really good considering what we went through last year. Uh, the cemetery is uh, the, the one lift station we're having issues with. We're still having issues with the E-Fall station too. Uh, and then we did receive the generator quotes, as I mentioned last time. We're trying to disseminate how we're going to uh, address those with that. Street departments, uh, they're also doing maintenance, patching potholes, working on some roads. Um, starting to look at when we can mow. Uh, obviously the, the rain is kind of stopping some of that and going back and forth. Uh, the rec center, as I mentioned, the new floor is going in there. Um, that floor is going to be out of service until around May 1st. Um, police department, uh, the old cruisers were finally picked up last week. Those have been traded in and gone. And then we've got still got our radar signs that are out. Um, and then under the good of the city, I've still got two people that are out sick. Uh, those are not COVID related. And then as we mentioned last time, we're going to have our Arbor Day celebration May 6th at 1 p.m. And it's going to be at the, uh, the rec center, the, the building itself. We're going to be in the parking lot just west of the rec center. And that is everything so far. Jeremy. I'd like to also mention that Thompson will end today to bring equipment in. They'll be starting in the substation, working down there, so you'll see them working on our existing equipment right now. That's the Hess substation. That's a project that we bid out. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Does Roll anyone on. have any questions for the service director? Mike. Uh, yeah, what does Arbor Day entail? What, what's, what's uh, we happen? usually plant some trees and, and give uh, a couple speeches and have a blessing and, and kind of describe what's there. Well, we incorporate that with our Tree City Award that we've got. And, um, Tom, do you remember? Are we at 21 or 22 years now? I think 22. 22 in a row. So um, we kind of go through that and what that does is celebrate, obviously, you know, uh, trees and are taking care of the trees and things in the city. Yeah, I'm all for that. Uh, is there trees that, like, if somebody wants to pick a tree up to plant, like, in their yard or something? I mean... Um, Soil and Water actually had a tree sale that they were doing. Uh, they do that yearly, so, but we don't have anything that we can sell to go through, but okay. that would be something if somebody's interested in it to, to definitely either reach out to us and we can set them up with Soil and Water or uh, work uh, directly with soil and water because that's where we're actually getting some of our trees from this year is, is soil and water. And then you would recommend, uh, Tom, recommend calling, is it Oops or somebody before you? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 before, before we, yeah, I mean, yeah, before before we plan anything. anything yeah. Personal residence. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Might, might also mention, too, that the city, uh, there is a tree commission, and in that commission we recommend 
certain heights of trees and diameters along the curbs as well as under the power mm -hmm. lines and the utilities. Yep. Okay. And then one quick question. I don't know if you, do we know how long that, that water line is going to take to fix since the weather's breaking? I think we were fortunate. Which one? Under the highway. We were Under the highway. To get through the winter. Um, actually, we're anticipating that it will be a three to four month project once we get to go ahead and, and, and move forward. Um, now, we say that, but that's with planning with what the plan is so far. If we get in there and that culvert's bad, yeah. everything's out the window yeah. because now we're talking about a jack and bore under the interstate and that's going to take twice as long if we can get the materials and the cost will probably double or triple. Okay. I think we're lucky you get through the winter. Yes. With... All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. That's your question. I have two questions. One I just missed. I apologize. You said the computer service, did you say they were ordered or in? Well, uh, we've got one in and one is going to be delivered tomorrow. So they're ready, ready to go. We're trying to get uh, our IT consultant in to set up to, to come in and get the switch over. Because we've got to coordinate when utility bills come in and come out and billing. And yeah, there's only certain times we can get in slow days. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then paving? Paving, I have not heard anything from the asphalt companies, but it was cold enough to snow today, so they're not going to open until it warms up. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to keep checking. I understand. All right, thank you. Question. Any more on the water tank inspections? The water tanks will be inspected sometime this year. I don't have dates yet, but we've signed a contract. They will do a ROV inspection of all three tanks, and then once that happens, I'll let if council so wishes, we're going to get a copy of the um, inspection, and then they'll actually do reports on each one, so we'll have that information. Yes, I'm, I would like one, please. Any other questions, DC? No. The equipment, did you get it? No. The, no. Mm -hmm. no. What equipment? The mini excavator won't be or probably be in until July. The backyard machine, did they give us an, even a ship date yet? Um, anything else is just, it's, uh, we did order the, the, the salt box. Um, that should be in the next, next week. Next week. Um, the lawnmower was another one that's, we don't need to know. Um, and that's really about all we've ordered because we're, 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 we're let's just say trying to be a little bit more frugal yeah. and, and hold back on some of the stuff. So. No question. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Welcome. Okay, we'll move on to the police chief. Chief Harbin, you have a report this evening? Uh, we've got a police committee meeting afterwards. <clears throat> I'll save my voice for that. Okay. <clears throat> Move on to finance director, uh, Annette Williams. Annette, do you have a report this evening? Hey, um, we had a finance committee meeting tonight, and on the reports for expenditures and receipts, they're on track for the year. Not, I have nothing else. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyone have any questions for the finance director? Okay, we'll move on to planning and zoning. Mr. Murphy. Oh, thanks, Jim. Uh, just a few items for council. The first thing I wanted to bring to council attention, council's attention, I passed out. It's a code section, chapter 105. And right now we're just kind of looking uh, for some guidance from council. Uh, that section, 105.01, uh, mentions how the city is hereby subdivided into four wards, which we all know. It does mention that the boundaries are so fixed as that each ward shall contain as nearly as practicable an equal number of inhabitants. Um, as everyone knows, we recently had our census. Um, this, the, each ward has never been looked at as far as population, uh, my understanding, since 1977, the date of this ordinance. And so I just was going to ask council, do you want me to start? Do you want me to look into our population of each ward to see if we should maybe look at making any adjust adjustments? At uh, the same token, maybe council's fine with how it's divided geographically now and, and you don't want to see any adjustments. Uh, but I'm just at this point in time, maybe looking for some guidance from council as a whole on 
of what you may want me to do. Beth? So geographically, that makes sense, but I would like to see the numbers. Okay. The way the ordinance is phrased with the, with an equal number of residents or practical people, I, I, I would be interested in that. Okay, it's all council. If you yeah. are, I can. I mean, it says it says shall, so you almost have to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and then you go from there as to whether or not. Yeah. Uh, what what you're going to come up with, knowing the numbers, is it's not equal. It could be more equal, but obviously it's going to change uh, what we all know as very simple boundaries to remember. But when the the, the language there kind of almost forces forces you to do it. Yeah, I can take a look at uh, each ward and the populations in each and uh, the next, I won't be at the next council meeting, but at a following council meeting, I can get you the information as far as what I found and uh, and give you that. You can kind of direct me again or um, just kind of decide what path we want to take. If we ever did find that there was a disparity or a, a large amount of disparity, uh, among the wards, it would probably be wise to have some type of public meeting, whether it was just with certain wards or uh, certain parts of the city that potentially could be affected. Uh, one advantage St. Clairsville has is we're nonpartisan, uh, so it's uh, not like you could have a ward with it's almost impossible to gerrymander from the perspective of Democrat or Republican because we don't vote that way. Um, so. Uh, but I'll, council said agreement, I'll start looking at that. Do you have access to the numbers from 1977? 77? Probably not. Uh, the closest election, there would have been one in 70 or one in 80, and I've never seen, since I've been here, I've been able to do my best to kind of keep track of, I've never looked at it from the perspective of each ward, when I actually, I only found this recently, and I'm, well, that would be the perfect time to look into that. I would assume that when they developed this ordinance, they must have looked at that. And but the way they phrased it, there must have been some similarity in population. You're never going to be the same, obviously, because of fluctuation in births and deaths. And, um, but I think it's wise to look at it from the perspective of what it is now and move forward. And so the earliest da data you would have would be what? Date as far as by data. war? The, the earliest data you would have on how they were population-wise? Uh, population-wise by ward would probably be just this most recent election. I wouldn't have it from the previous ones. Um, I can talk to Bellamar and they might have some from 2010 uh, by census tract and see what they have. Yeah, I, I think this is good. This is uh, nice that we have some time. Maybe everybody can come up with questions for the next meeting or if one after that. Because I have four already that I'm, you know, I'll probably have some more. So, no, I think it would be wise if council. There's no real rush on this, um, but uh, if council has questions in the meantime. You could ask them now or, or email them to me, and um, if I can get resolution to them before uh, the next meeting, I'm at that would, that would be good. Um, so any other questions on that? All right, second item, and I'll just, uh, the term of, uh, and many of you already have this email, the term of Ed Reese, he, he's one of our Board of Zoning Appeals members, it expires in May 2022. Um, he served on that board for at least eight years. I did talk to him already, and he is willing to serve another term. He's a retired carpentry and woodshop teacher. Uh, he did teach JVS. Uh, prior to his time as a teacher, he worked for Blonox for around 25 years. Uh, Roberta also informed me that he was in the historic preservation class taught by her husband at Belmont Tech, her husband's David Mertz. Um, he has been a resident of the city for many years and his skills in carpentry trade are valuable in reviewing uh, different construction projects. Uh, this is a mayor's appointment. I did talk to Catherine and she will not be present at this meeting. Uh, but she was requesting that his name be put forward for reappointment. Um, obviously, if members feel comfortable because she's not here, we could always wait till the next meeting, whatever you feel. I included her, I talked to her and then also included her on the email that was sent out. Um, but whatever council would want to do on that matter, whether you feel comfortable or not, 
I will not be at the next council meeting, so if you have specific questions ahead, now would be a good time to ask them. Uh, and if you don't want to move forward, Kathy can move forward at the next meeting. Uh, he is a good member, and sometimes good members are hard to find, so uh, I hate to see him be feel put off or anything. Um, so I don't know if there's any questions on uh, Ed at this point in time. I would make a motion if someone's willing to second it. I'll second it. Well, legally, are we able? You should have Catherine make the yeah. the motion. That's, from, that's what I have to do, I think. But since, you know, Catherine's not at this meeting, Tom's not going to be at the next meeting, it was probably the best that Tom would present the information now. So if you have any questions, specifically yeah, for Tom, he's yeah. here. But it's better Catherine. Yeah, better to wait till Catherine's here till she can make the formal Catherine request, make right. You have no problem with him. He's well qualified and he's served up in the past, correct? Yeah, he's been on the board for eight years and he's a great uh, member of the board. Uh, his experience has been uh, good. So, and he enjoys it. So uh, we can wait till the next meeting on that. But I, as mentioned, since I won't be at that meeting, if you have questions, feel free to ask him now about it or you can even call me uh, this week or next. Um, and then the final, just the board, and I sent this out in an email as well. Uh, the Board of Architecture mm -hmm. Review will be holding a meeting oh, this yeah. Wednesday. I'll withdraw my Wait, motion. Yes. Oh, Thank I'm you. sorry. <laughs> uh, on Wednesday, April 20th at 4 p.m., uh, this meeting will be held at Christ the King Lutheran Church at 238 South Marietta Street. Street. Mike Giolis, a uh, Star Preservation Consultant, will be presenting information on the history of the creation of our historic district and the design guidelines. <coughs> In addition, he will explain the architectural importance of the historic district, uh, why a board of architecture review is important, and why a historic district design guidelines and the relevant board are important to a community aesthetically and economically. Uh, Mr. Joe has helped develop the original guidelines for St. Clairsville, and council members, if you want to, you certainly can attend that uh, meeting. And that's it. Thank you, Tom. Does anybody have any other questions for Tom? But uh, again, like he said, if you somewhere along the next week or so, if you got questions about the, that appointment, you should hold him before the meeting because I'm sure Catherine will be uh, recommending him for the, at the next meeting. Okay, we'll move on now to uh, Council Committees, Finance Committee, Mr. Smith. Yeah, Finance Committee met tonight for this meeting. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, Jeremy had mentioned the, the server, and we got a backup server, but I think uh, Jeremy did a good job in saving us some money on the, the labor part uh, with the people we're going to install that, I think, to the tune of $20,000, $28,000 savings. So uh, I just want to mention that. Jeremy did a good job on that. Uh, also, we are to get some CARES Act money coming up soon. I don't know if you remember, we received $269,000, uh, was it last year? And we're supposed to get the other portion this year. I just want the council to know that that money's coming. And last, uh, we briefly talked about maybe getting some additional information uh, in terms of financial reports. It might be helpful to council um, in case something comes up. At least we know, you know, where we stand uh, financially, especially with our liabilities of the city. And uh, but we're trying to develop, to develop what that's going to look like. So we'll talk about that next meeting. That's all I have. Okay, thank you, Mike. Anybody have any questions for Mike? We'll okay, move on to utilities. Terry, you have a report? No report tonight. Yeah, I will just remind for the press and just in general, uh, the next council meeting uh, will be May 2nd, and that will be the first change on the utility meeting. So rather, at the, the next meeting, 
uh, that utility meeting will begin at 6.30 rather than 7 o'clock. So just a reminder to everybody that might be interested in attending that meeting. Okay, we'll move on to uh, police. Beth, do you have a report? We are meeting tonight. We'll have a police committee meeting. And as part of that meeting, um, we're going to do a demo of the Jeopardy project. So um, we're going to do that over there. Um, Officer DePlog is going to get that set up, and that we'll start with that in that room over there tonight after this meeting. Can I say that? Okay, does anybody have any questions for Beth? Okay, thank you, Beth. We'll move on to Streets North Side. Uh, no report other than uh, Jeremy did state that uh, no word on the paving yet with paving uh, companies. Uh, and they are patching streets still and a couple of different areas where we still need some work with uh, some neighbors getting a little bit of rainwater through their yards and basements. But uh, other than that, no report. Okay, move on to South Side. Mr. Thrash, do you see have anything on the South Side streets? No report. Had anything on safety? Next meeting is April 28th at 9 o'clock. And again, I will recommend that anybody can attend those. Those are very worthwhile meetings. So Still at the garage. To kind of be 9 o'clock uh, at the Okay, we'll move on to building and grounds. No more on safety. I'd like to congratulate Donnie for that's pretty impressive. Thirty years straight. Uh, is that right? Thirty years safety. I week. can't really take the credit. It's the crews and the personnel of the city that does their job and do it safely. And again, you know, you folks make sure they have what they need. Thank you. That's impressive. Yeah. Thank you, Donnie. Good job to the guys. Long-standing reputation okay now uh, we'll move on to building and grounds um, I have no report other than uh, the section of the bike trail that is by the roundhouse um, it has been closed down a portion of it has been closed down correct no just the just, steps. steps just the, the steps, steps themselves going, yeah, okay the steps, the steps themselves, themselves uh, of the bike trail because they are pretty dilapidated and I don't know if Donnie wants to elaborate or... Uh, Jeremy and, and uh, Darren and I uh, took a look at them and they are in, in bad shape. They are part of the project that Jeremy's been working on and ODOT, or excuse me, ODNR. And uh, they are uh, decided to uh, close them off now just for safety purposes to make sure nobody, you know, got injured or hurt on them. But, uh, they are in the process of being going to be. The surveyor will actually be out there this week and next week surveying the the area. So the, the that project has started, but it's going to be a good year before those are opened again. So we'll have to adjust. Yeah. Okay. Anyone have any questions for uh, Linda? Okay, hey, move on to Planning Commission. Mr. Thomas. No report. No re uh, actually, in the fire district. Um, the next meeting is this coming Wednesday, 9 a.m. at the firehouse. Thank you, Linda. Does anybody have any questions for Linda on the fire district? We move on to recreation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, meeting is this coming Thursday at 4.30 p.m. at the rec center. Uh, Jeremy talked about the floor. Uh, it is sweet. Um, I will forward to council the pictures. Uh, they, look, they actually look better on a computer than they do to print it out for obvious reasons. But um, uh, it will open, uh, as he indicated, just in time for the May 3rd uh, election. Uh, and then quote unquote back to normal at that point. Um, the Easter egg hunt was this past weekend, 90 students. Uh, Eric wanted us to uh, give a shout out and a thanks to the National Water Society 
uh, students at St. Clairsville High School for their volunteer of uh, their time. So uh, that, that was very successful. And, uh, everything else is uh, going smoothly. That's my report. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Anybody have any questions? For Mark? Uh, I do. This may have already been answered previously, but what was the cost of that floor? 27000 Okay. <laughs> Jerry, will you pass those pictures? There's a couple during. You can see the. the, the oh. And a reminder we have the new lights too. Well, no. We no. had a problem. Had a problem with the lights. Oh. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Had a problem. The, uh, the, the, the. Okay. The, yeah. We, we, we were getting new LED light bulbs in there, had them put in. Um, the old transformers for the uh, lights from the original, after uh, about uh, two or three minutes of the new LED light bulbs being on, they started to go Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. So um, we are working on something with that, though. Um, Donnie has looked and found some, some new LED light fixtures. The, the problem is the cost is about $15,000. Um, I'm working with finance on that. One of the things that I'm going to suggest is that um, obviously we had about that much put into the concert series last year, and Eric has hustled his uh, back, backside off and gotten almost all of them sponsored. So he's going to save us about $13,000. So I think that you know that might be something that we'll look at actually getting accomplished after uh, we get the floor done and, and some of these other things. So, but I'll let council know when when that decision's made. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Last time I talked to Eric, he was up on the lift. So I assume it was all. Yes, it, 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 it was. It, very, it went very well until about five minutes after we yeah. turned the lights on, and I'm like, okay. that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, shut them off, shut them off, shut they're, them off. They're 40 years old and we can't even get for them. Yeah, yes. well, I know, and I, and I, I, I mean, I, I'm fine with yeah, the fixtures. I, I mean, it, you factor in uh, the, the time that the existing ones have been in, not yes. only that, the, the, the long-term well, savings. The, the energy savings, yes, the less energy, exactly. switching yes. to LEDs, right. and then the elimination of the potential risk of having 40-year-old lights. Right. Most people don't have 40-year-old cars or uh, appliances. So, you know, we start looking at stuff like that, it, it starts to, to, to worry about a little bit of a safety issue. So we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah. Okay, any other questions on the Park Department? Okay, we'll move on to Park District. Linda, do you have anything on the Park District? Um, only as council is aware, the board, or not the board, but the township uh, voted to appoint Joe Slavic as the new park board member, and uh, they're pretty enthusiastic about that. I've not heard nothing but good about Joe. He's going to be a great uh, board uh, commissioner. So, uh, And the next meeting is next Monday, the 25th. Uh, weather permitting, it will be at the park. Otherwise, it will be at uh, the preferred le legacy uh, Trust company. Okay, anybody have any questions uh, on Park District? Linda, did Joe accept? Yes. Okay. One, what time is that meeting? Linda, what yes. time is that meeting? 4.30. 4.30. Okay, any other questions for uh, Linda on Park District? Okay, hearing none, that's got us through the agenda. We have no ordinances or resolutions to uh, address this evening. The next council meeting will be Monday, May 2nd at 7 p.m. And again, the utility meeting will precede that at 6.30. Uh, at this time, if no one has any questions, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. And there is a police committee meeting afterwards. Got a motion and a second. Meeting's adjourned.